And now, turning abandoned homes into art right before they're turned down. We've told you plenty of stories about Slavic Village, a neighborhood in Cleveland hit especially hard by the foreclosure crisis. Well, the community is still trying to recover. News 5's Home with Bash shows us how they're getting creative to find solutions in Cleveland. Every brush stroke, every screw is a final farewell to this vacant home. You don't really appreciate something until it's gone. This is the fifth year for the Rooms to Let project in Slavic Village, turning three abandoned homes into art exhibits just weeks before they're torn down. I'll try to fix anything I can, and just some of these houses aren't fixable. There's just aren't the resources. They've been vacant for too long. Um, they've been vandalized to the point of it's not they're not repairable. But it can be bittersweet, turning eyesores into artwork. I feel like I lose a little piece of me each time I do this project. Slavic Village was one of the hardest hit neighborhoods during the housing crisis. Right now, there are 900 vacant homes within five square miles. That's down from 1,400 back in 2008. Slavic Village Development Corps does what they can to save what they can, but some homes are just too far gone. That's where this idea came in. The opportunity to kind of honor these houses that are coming down, um, I think is special. Roughly 90 artists are working on this project, each of them with their own take. And many of them are using things that they've found in these vacant homes, like this clawfoot tub and this golden throne. For Danielle Mujina, it's personal. In what used to be the kitchen of a home built in 1900, she is painting images of her grandmother, who immigrated to Cleveland from Croatia. I think it's really beautiful that this house is gonna be demolished with the work in it, um, especially with the history of the neighborhood. A neighborhood that is fighting tooth and nail to get back to what it was. <laughs> One unique project at a time. Reporting in Cleveland, Homa Bash, News 5. And the artists will finish up the exhibits this week, and the homes will be on public display next weekend. Nearly 4,000 people walked through in two days last year, so it's something to see. Mm.